Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Xiang Qin, and I'm a PhD candidate at the University of California, Santa Cruz. And uh, the title of our paper is uh, Robots and Accurate Text Stroke Segmentation. And it's collaborated with our, my colleague, uh, Peng Ren, uh, Sengdu Kim, and my other professor, Roboto, uh, Roboto Manducci. So, accurate stroke uh, text stroke segmentation is important in lots of uh, applications such as OCR, text removal, augmented reality, or assistive technology. And uh, for easy cases, you can, uh, decent uh, uh, result can be achieved with a very simple adaptive sphere holding, like also sphere holding. But for more challenging cases with large variance in text uh, font, color, and uh, funding background, poor contrast, as well as uh, different illuminations, a more sophisticated method is uh, needed. So here, uh, I show the results of our uh, method. So the left side is uh, some challenging cases, and uh, we can see our method produce uh, super clean and accurate text uh, stroke segmentation. So our method is uh, quite straightforward. So first of all, we use a fully convolutional network to produce a coarse level uh, heat map. And then we use a fully connected uh, conditional random field with a novel pairwise kernel function to refine the result. So at the beginning, uh, we try the uh, fully connected CRF with a traditional uh, bilateral filter. And then we find the result is not good enough uh, in, term, in the presence of uh, dramatic uh, illumination chain, for example, the shadow and reflection. And also, moreover, uh, sometimes CRF will uh, classify the background pixel with similar color as text pixels, as the text regions, uh, with the results of the uh, 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 bilateral filter is shown in the middle row. And the uh, third row shows our, new, our, our result with a uh, uh, novel kernel function. So our uh, observation is that uh, the stroke width uh, inside a word is almost consistent. So that's a very good clue to refine the result. So uh, the con uh, conditional random thing is trying to minimize the uh, loss function E. And E is a combination of unit term, which is the output from the CR, uh, from the FCN. And then the pairwise code function is a combination of a location uh, 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 in intensity and the stroke width. So basically, we want to give large penalty if you classify two neighboring pixels, if you give two different labels for two neighboring pixels with similar color as well as similar uh, stroke width. So to train a large network, we need a large number of uh, data, but unfortunately, it's uh, not a large scale uh, text. Uh, data with pixel-wise uh, ground truth. So in this work, we synthetic a large-scale uh, data set with pixel-level labels. And the network is trained on the synthetic data only. And our, our, we evaluate our performance on two uh, benchmarks. The one, first one is uh, relatively easy, it's ACTAR 2011. And as we can see, the traditional method produced uh, a decent result. And with our new method, uh, additional uh, marginal improvements is noticed. And for the more challenging uh, data set, the SVT data set, the images from the Google Street View. And uh, so our method outperformed the previous one by more than 5%. So in this paper, we also present an interesting idea called text summit, uh, substitution. So there are thousands of languages out there. And different languages have different property, right? For example, Chinese. In Chinese, there's no space between words. So if you train a text detection or recognition model for English, and if you generalize that model to a different language, you might have a very poor performance. And unfortunately, it's not feasible to um, label a large-scale data set for different languages. So in, in this method, we produce a idea called uh, uh, text substitution. So first of all, we given an image with word level labeling, and we compute, uh, we, we find the stroke, uh, accurate text stroke using our method. And then we remove text content from the image with impending algorithm. And then we can, uh, we can render more, uh, we can render text with a different language on the same location. In this way, we have a very simple idea. We have a very simple method to augment uh, using text detection data set, as well as transfer the existing data set in English to a different language. And thank you, and uh, please stop by our person. Thank you.